watch and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to talk about Kid 606's Die Soundboy Die. Now this was released yeah, who the fuck knows? I think I did this in another video and I wasn't able to find out when this was released. I'm pretty sure it came out around 2007, 2008, something like that. And the reason that I want to discuss this EP is because it is one of the most completely fun and energetic EPs I have ever encountered. Even though technically the tempo, it increases and decreases considerably throughout the course of this EP, my overall, my sort of like the, the general consensus that I've come to is that this record is bouncy and energetic. And even though, like I said, technically that's not entirely true, especially with the track nine, death is pain permanently leaving the body. I would also argue that that's death is pain permanently leaving the body sort of accurately sums up how serious Kid 606's music would become in the years following this release. I mean, he never really lost his overall sense of fun, but his stuff became sort of heavy. And I miss these days. Like I miss the who still kill sound through this days where with songs like Die, Soundboy, Die, all the way Raven Kane, You Can't Stop a Stepper. Like this record, just when you think, fuck, it can't get any more fun sounding, it does. And when you're like, okay, I can figure out what this record's going to do next, you can't because it tosses in a curveball. And then when you're like, oh, I do get it now. It's going to have a little from this and a little from that. Fuck, it does something else. And this EP, it will, I guess, keep you on your proverbial toes for the entire 44 minutes and 51 seconds. Wait a second. How the hell can 44 minutes and 51 seconds be considered an EP? Hmm. I could have sworn the, the, the general sort of the, the, the accepted run times were anything under a half an hour, I believe, was an EP and anything over a half an hour is considered a full length. Even if I'm sort of not getting that exactly right and it's 35 minutes for a full length or 40 minutes for a full length, well, this is 44 minutes and 51 seconds, so I don't understand how the fuck this is an EP. Listen, they're fucking kid 606. Don't do that in the past, like 15 years ago or something. Don't do that. But yeah, this is amazing. This record is so much fun. And it's like I said, like my favorite part about this is just how whenever I just think about this album, I get sort of energized. Like I feel the same way about Who Still Kill Sound too. Like certain records from Kid 606 put a smile on my face and this is one of them. I don't even have to hear it to hear it. You know what I mean? I can just that, that wonk, 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 fuck man. This, this record, again, it, it sort of carves its own niche out of like the musical landscape because it's borrowing from so many different styles of electronic music that it's a pretty captivating run. 44 minutes and 51 seconds outside of Death is Pain permanently leaving the body. I have to say, putting that on here might have been a misstep. It doesn't really fit in at all. And it's, it, it's a completely different vibe than the other eight tracks on here. I still think it's cool. I just think it's out of place. But yeah, so I think I'll leave it there. So thank you so much for hanging out with me while I discussed Kid 606's EP, the 44 minute and 51 second EP, Die, Soundboy, Die. Like always, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for someone. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.